In this lesson, we are going to use DaVinci Resolve to sync a video's audio with the higher quality audio that was recorded from a different device. For example, if you did a screen recording with your phone or laptop and used the standard mic that came with that device, more often than not, it sounds horrible. And if you had a good quality audio recorder running at the same time, you can use that audio instead. But you will have to sync them up. DaVinci Resolve 16 has an auto sync audio feature. I'll show you how it works, whether it's good or bad, and I'll show you another way of doing it if it's not good. Let's do it. Okay, I have two files here. One file is the screen capture I did on my phone, but I also ran my higher quality audio recorder device um, in parallel. So it was also sitting there recording the session. So I have two audio files. One is part of the video and one is separate, but higher quality. So I'm trying to merge or sync the higher quality audio into the video. Okay, let me show you the difference between the audio quality. Let me drag the video down. And if for some reason you don't want to... It sounds a little hollow. Like, yeah, it so sounds like a cheap recording. Now let me drag the higher quality audio down. And if for some reason you don't want to... You can tell the big improvement of quality of the audio file here because microphones make a big difference. And if your voice doesn't translate well on your phone or on your laptop or a webcam, like mine doesn't, I do not like my voice when I hear my recording on a phone or on a webcam. So I needed a good quality audio recorder. And by doing that, it's given me some confidence to, you know, continue on my tutorials. So DaVinci Resolve comes with a auto sync audio feature and you can do that by simply highlighting both files, the video file and your better audio file together. Right click one of them and you will see this auto sync audio. We're going to do it based on waveform. It's going to do its thing. It's analyzing. Sometimes you have to wait a few more seconds. It looks like it's done but sometimes it's not ready. Just give it another five seconds or so. Looks like something happened now. It might be ready. Let's drag it down. Okay, now it's ready. Okay, so let's play this. And just go down there. You see it says YouTube at the bottom, sharing your passion. Okay, so okay, so did you hear the difference? It turned my voice into a more chipmunky sounding voice, like a quicker speed. And I've done this multiple times and I can't figure out why it's doing that. There might be a setting you can change, but I haven't figured it out. If you know how to fix this, please comment so I can update the video and tell people about it. But I'm stuck with listening to myself as a chipmunk. This is not acceptable and we need a different way. And I haven't seen other people fixed it yet. So you know what? We're going to do it the old fashioned way. Okay, that old fashioned way is the manual way. We're going to look at the waveforms and match them up with our eyes. So here's how to do it the old fashioned way. Let's drag down the video and let's drag down our better quality audio right beneath it. The reason why I do the clap clap in the beginning is because just like those Hollywood pictures you see how people use that board, that marker indicator and clap and they slap it down. That also gives them a way to sync their audio with their video. That clapping in the beginning gives me a way to easily see the, the highs of the waveform, to easily match the audio. So let me show you. The two claps in the original video is here, that and that. Let me expand this, zoom in. I did a control plus sign to zoom in. Or you could use this bar to control the zoom in. Okay, so these are the two claps. Let me play that. And these are the two claps on the bottom file with the higher quality audio. Clap, clap. So all I have to do is sync this up. One method for me is to go to the peak of the first clap on the video. And what I do is use the left arrow to step frame by frame backwards by about four frames. One, two, three, four. 
Now I'm going to use the blade tool to cut that. And then I'm going to go to the peak of the higher quality audio down here using the arrow buttons to adjust. Okay, so I'm at the center at the peak of the first clap on the bottom audio. So now one, two, three, four. And then I'll cut that here. Use the blade tool. So now I have two cuts. I will click the pointer again, select this section of the video, press backspace, and also select this portion of the bottom audio and press backspace. So now these just have to be aligned and it is easy by clicking here to match, to get to the beginning of the video clip and then dragging the audio over there. There you go. So that's my method. So if I play this now, clap, clap. Okay, so okay, there's two audios going. Let me mute the top one and just run this here. And if for some reason you don't want to, there you go. We have a pretty perfectly matched audio with my video now. And let's go to the end. You can start seeing a shift. See that over here? If you have a longer video, this is about three minutes long. There's a shift going on. The video was recording at a certain pace and the audio device was recording at a slightly slower rate for some reason. Just can't have these devices sync in perfectly. There's these minute differences and the longer your video is and the longer the audio file is, the more discrepancy there will be if they're not matched up perfectly. So you just have to adjust it manually. For example, we're going to make the adjustment now in this section. Okay, let's position the head right at the beginning of this waveform on the video audio. I have to highlight the video, make press S instead of the blade. It's the same thing, it cuts it and take the playhead to the beginning of that audio file below. Select the file and press S again to cut and then get rid of this portion by pressing backspace. Don't press delete and just drag that audio over. Now it's matched up again. And there you go. Now you see a button that's click. So you might have to do that at a couple of spots in the middle so that it's better synced up. There you go. That's my manual method, the old fashioned method of syncing up video and an external audio recording. Unfortunately, DaVinci Resolve kind of dropped the ball on this, but maybe there's a setting that I can figure out later how to match it up perfectly. But right now it's not working for me. I don't want to sound like a chipmunk. So I'm using the old fashioned way. If you would like to find out what software equipment and other tools I use, check the description and please give the video a like if you learned something new. I'm coming out with a lot more tutorials on how to use the latest technologies to help people build their business and presence online. So subscribe. <music>